Hi, this is Nick Barrett from Pendragon, and you are listening to Live Prog. No, you are watching Live Prog. October 8, 2011. That was a date to which many progressive rock fans were looking forward to. And I was one of them. Why? Because on that day, the Dutch progressive rock band Night Area would give their CD presentation concert. That show would mark the release of their fourth studio album, Nine Paths. I was blown away by an incredible show. The band plays live really tight. It was fantastic to hear the new album played live on stage. All of it. Well, here we have it. Nine Paths. Well, it was released then. I have it. I listened to it. I played it. I played it. I played it. And I played it even more. And I gotta say, it is a fantastic album. And it is a very special album for Night Area because it marks a lot of firsts for the band. The first is they have, well, a new designer for the cover art. And I must say, I really love the colors that they used with this artwork. Really catchy, you know, really catches your eye, beautiful. It also marks um, the first time that Gerben Klaasinga doesn't write all the songs. He used to write the music for all songs, Mark Smit would write the lyrics for all songs, but The River was written by Gijs Koopman, the bass player, and Angel's Call was written by Mark Smit, the singer. And when we look at the lyrics, Clueless was written by Jan Kees Bram, um, their sound engineer on live shows, but also a musician himself with his project Ixion. And then we have another first, the fact that the band has done a duet on this album with none other than Charlotte Wessels from the Dutch band Delay. A very beautiful kind of ballad. And Charlotte Wessels wrote the lyrics to that song. Wake up, I just First is the fact that for the first time Gerben Klaasinga did not mix and master the album. Now, they found two other very skilled persons in America who took on that job. So, there's a lot of new elements and I gotta say it's not too much new because when you listen to this album it is a very beautiful, fantastic album. It has incredible music on it. Um, very strong songs, well played, um, some really nice heavy riffs laid down by Mark Vermeule, but also some finger licking solos, great keyboard work from Gerben Klaasinga, which is like a gravy all over the music, you know, making it taste, well, even better. Uh, there's some nice dueling between Mark Vermeule and Gerben, which is very nice. Amazing, powerful majestic but sometimes also soft and fragile drumming by Pieter van Horen. You know, it doesn't matter what kind of a song you give him, a ballad or a rocker, he knows how to hit the right drums for it. Um, what I really love are the bass parts from Gijs Koopman, the uh, amazing Rickenbacker sound he has on it, the well, really impressive Moog Taurus pedals, the Moog Taurus 3, he was very proud of it, to have them on this album, so, well, really awesome. I 
a look at the singer Mark Smith. Um, I gotta say I have come to love his voice very much. Um, two tracks on the album really stand out vocally, which I love, are um, The Balance and the last track, which is well the highlight of the album, Angel's Call. So it's a really stunning album, I gotta say that. I'm very impressed by it. Um, well, they've done a great job and if you've been following the band, if you know them a little better, if you know the previous albums, you notice that they put up the bar a little higher with each album. And I think, well, they did a terrific job with this one. Again, you know, look at the beautiful artwork. Also, well, the CD itself. And I'll show you a little more later on. But, well, I gotta say, and, and well, maybe I am biased. It, it's very possible. I mean, I've done a lot of work for the guys. I did the video podcast for, uh, for Live Proc TV to promote, well, the release show. concert that is possible but I say this is an album that's gonna end up very high on the year lists top 10 maybe even top 5 well maybe a lot of people will call this their best album of the year um, I don't do year lists because well there's so much good music to choose from and I simply don't want to choose but this is a very special album I gotta say that it is really beautiful and this shows the top of progressive rock in Holland. Now, of course, you don't have to take my word for it. A review is often the opinion of the reviewer. And well, you can see how enthusiastic I am about the album, so I hope you understand that this really is a remarkable album. But again, don't take my word for it. Check out the song Wake Run on YouTube by the band. You can hear how well they play it. And well, just listen to the album for yourself and prepare to be amazed.